We have a new toy in the garage from Vivor, and this is a 2500 watt 12 volt inverter. In the inverters, we use them for capacity testing of batteries, and typically it's not a problem for like a 100 amp hour battery, they're 1280 watt hours, and you can get a 2000 watt inverter, 1500 watt inverter to load those up pretty well, but we've been testing some bigger batteries as well. So like the 140 amp hours that are coming out, uh, we did one not too long ago. There's 165 amp hour 12 volt batteries now. So there's some bigger ones that we're starting to get our hands on. And so we need a bigger inverter to pull those loads and really load up those batteries. So we're gonna go through what's in the box here and kind of talk you through what you would get if you get a 12 volt 2500 watt inverter from Vivor. Okay, so we got a little baggie here control display so this is the battery display that you get this hooks up with a like a typical phone jack that you probably know of it's got an on and off button it's got input power it gives you fault feedback and kind of a percent remaining on your battery i'm not sure if that's calibrated for lithium or what exactly that's calibrated for so you may want to just focus on voltage see what you're getting next thing out of the box is we have the power cables these are relatively short let me see how long these are just so we can know. So these are, wow, that's a really bad tape measure. Stretch this guy out, right about 21 inches for the power cables. So these are a little bit on the short side, but depending on what your installation is, that may work out just fine. And then we've got the inverter itself, that out. And then also here's your, kind of your old school phone cable. Probably haven't played with one of those in a while. That goes in to the display here so you can see what's going on with that. So we'll get into the inverter itself. It said this is a 2500 watt high frequency inverter. Comes with some spare fuses. These are 40 amp fuses. I think you got to pop it, the lid off to get to the fuses, which is fine. That's pretty much how they all are. Run through some of the specs here. Input voltage, 12 volts. Output voltage, 120, plus or minus 10%. It pulls. Loss with no load, about 1.2 amps. Efficiency is greater than or equal to 85%. Surge power, it's showing four to 5,000 watts. All right, so there's that. On the back here, you got two cooling fans. You have your protected, um, obviously your, your hookups for your battery. So you can run those off the back side. You've got mounting bosses on the bottom here. These are about, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less, like a number 10 for those. And then on here is your smaller display, your phone jack. You have a USB, so you can charge your phone or something. And three, which is nice, you get three outputs here in your on and off switch. So we'll go ahead and power this thing up and take a look at it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do to set it up. We're gonna hook up our battery cables. And these are 14 millimeter hexes. If I hook this up for the first time, just straight on the battery terminal, I'll probably make like a spot weld. So what I'm gonna do is actually thread this in a bit and then hit it here so that it kind of makes that mark on the hex. Here we go. Maybe not. Oh yeah, see how it's like welded on there? There we go. It's hooked up. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and load this thing up. I'll show you the screen over here so you can see what, what it's telling you. So you can see what we've got on the screen here. I'll read it off to you. 13.3 volts, 123 volt output, zero watt output, and we have a smiley face, which is a good thing. So now we're going to hook up a heater. There we go. 1800 watts coming out of it. And that heater's getting pretty crispy. Once it gets warmed up, it should calm down a little bit. So this is a 100 amp hour battery, so it's giving you pretty much all the beans out of it right now. And eventually this battery will probably kick out. All right, there we are at 2100 watts. So far no fans turning on yet, so it's not quite hot. 2500 watts, so we're pretty much hitting the, the peak here of the inverter. We'll just let it run for a bit, see what happens. Oops. Okay, so this kicked out. Well, I don't think the battery did. Oh yeah, overcurrent protection on the battery. So the battery kicked out, shut everything off. So that's the that's working just fine. 
And uh, so that's what you can expect. So now that we've done a little bit of testing on the inverter, I want to give you some insight of, obviously you're probably not buying an inverter just to test some batteries with. So let me give you some ideas of what you can use a 2,500 watt inverter for. So you've got some like small to medium sized microwaves run 900 to 1100 watts, coffee maker up to 1200 watts, mini fridge, uh, no problem there at 100 to 300 watts, TVs up to 400 watts, some electric fans. Obviously you can run these small heaters with no, no problem at all. Um, small air conditioners could have a startup surge of uh, 2000 watts, but sustain about a 1500 watts. So there's a lot of things you can run and definitely think of like the multiple things that you can run, right? So at 2500 watts, you can run a microwave, a refrigerator, and um, a TV, right? Some lights. You can run a lot of different things or some power tools, right? So when you get a bigger inverter, you're not just like, oh, I can plug in this one thing and run it. You have multiple things, which is really nice if you're doing kind of a campsite setup or whatever. You've got a solar setup, you're going to run off some battery banks. Run a couple of things off of it without being too worried. 2,500 watts at 12 volts gives you a lot of capacity. You know, some of those are really small, right? You've probably done some research on it, 800,000 watts. Uh, I'm a fan of going ahead and just stepping it up to a bigger inverter. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'm going to have some links down in the description for you. Like I said, we'll be using this in future tests coming out right up with this battery and its sister battery. And you know what? We may go grab even a bigger battery and go test it as well. So we'll see that soon.